Okay, um, I'm Tim Swanton. I'm from Cisco's CTO team for cloud computing. Um, I'll be giving you a quick run through of a project my colleague Dmitry Chichurov created for uh, exploring various uses of Envoy, including Envoy via Istio, as well as directly via like Envoy v2 APIs. So how do we do this? We um, Experimenting for experimenting with Envoy and Istio, we created a reference cloud native application that is a representative of an architecture like an IoT or a big big data app. The application is called BeatTrack, and it includes stateless and stateful services. To explore the various Envoy API versions and features, the project implements deployment types um, varying how we deploy Envoy. So. Envoy v1 static is sort of the base uh, use case, and um, we started with that and moved to um, a dynamic uh, ADS controller, so that's an ag aggregate discovery service controller. And, and also we made Istio ready application manifests for comparison. And um, the, the deployment implementations for BTRAC allow us to explore um, data plane features for Envoy and various placement setups of Envoy. So whether we have one Envoy instance behind, in front of you know, two application instances, um, that, that's stuff that we were able to vary. And we were able to also mix Istio service mesh um, deployments with non-Istio uh, Envoy fronted services. So this is all um, the application's sort of an example of all of these types of things. So we have branches and stuff for uh, um, in, in, embedded in the repo for this app. Um, we have all of the scripts and um, or configurations for doing all this work. So the architecture of the app um, is shown on this slide. It consists of a uh, a beacon, which is a data generator, so it's a simulated um, sort of IoT device, and it, when it comes up, it gets its location from a geo generator, a location service, and it stores um, some of that data into Elasticsearch, and then starts generating uh, data, and that data is then sent to a data processing pipeline and we can vary um, the number and, and placement of the stages in that pipeline. And those stages will write to um, like a backend uh, database uh, information about what they've created and pass on the data to the next stage. So all of this, in, in all this context, um, we, that we vary how we deploy Envoy to each of these services. And using, like I said, the ADS or Istio or just raw um, Envoy v1 static configs, and um, to, to visualize uh, what we've what, we, what the application does, we have a, a UI called Montrer, um, which uh, uses data from the Postgres database, and we have a Grafana dashboard which contains um, graphs of uh, data beacon generated data. So this, the, the control bubble on the bottom is just representing in, like the ADS scenario or the Istio scenario. So this is an example of um, the UI. It's a simple table with um, a map underneath with the locations of the beacons. Each of the rows in this table is going to be a combination of a beacon instance and a stage that's processing the data in that instance. And there's a column, a couple columns there that indicate the rate of the traffic uh, from the beacon to that stage. And you can see there's, uh, in this example, there's a weighted routing um, set up for two instances of stage, stage one, um, where some of the traffic from the beacon um, is, is weighted towards each of those stages. And this is an example of our Grafana dashboard. Um, it's similar data to the Montreal UI, but it's more um, uh, specific to the, the app, and you can see graphically the variations over time of the data rate to, from the beacons to the stages. So we have all this in our Cisco Systems GitHub. Like I said, we, it's like an example. Um, it helped us learn a lot about Envoy and Istio, and we thought we would share it with everyone. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, See, you know, see the repo or stop by the Cisco booth. And that's my time. Thanks.